the agenda to necessary topics only, thus removing the invocation and community forum. We also ask that you adhere to social distancing measures by keeping chairs in their places, maintaining a minimum distance of six feet between attendees at all times, and limiting comments to three minutes or less. Thank you for your cooperation and understanding. Um, Nicole, can I have a roll call, please? Councilmember Biskins. Here. Councilmember Williams. Here. Councilmember Mergen. Here. Councilmember Nowitzki. Here. Mayor Schmidt. Here. If you are able, please stand and join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our mission is to provide the highest quality public services. Services will be provided in a fair, respectful, and professional manner that effectively address changing citizen and community needs in a fiscally responsible manner. Next item is the approval of the agenda. If uh, there are no additions, can I get a motion to approve as presented? So moved. Second. Motion by Councilmember Biskins, second by Councilmember Mersion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Uh, the next item is the consent agenda. And uh, if our city manager, Kelly Bourgeois, if you could read off those items for us, please. Yes, thank you, Mayor, members of the council. Item A is approval of the minutes of the city council work session of March 2nd and the city council meeting of March 9th. Item B is authorization to enter into a joint powers agreement through the Minnesota Statewide Public Works Mutual Aid Agreement and Equipment Loan Agreement. Item C is an agreement for MinWARN, the Minnesota Water Agency Response Network. Item D is adoption of resolution 2020-35, awarding seal coating, resolution 2020-36, awarding crack sealing, and resolution 2020-37, awarding street striping as part of the joint powers agreement contract. Item E is the capital equipment replacement of unit number 99, that's a single axle dump truck and attachments. Um, item F is the capital equipment replacement of unit 411, which is the utility supervisor vehicle. Item G is approval of resolution for a joint grant application to the Metropolitan Council uh, supporting the addition of pedestrian facilities at 53rd Avenue from Central and to University Avenue. Item H is authorization to purchase two police vehicles Item I is accepting amendments to the City of Columbia Heights Pandemic Preparedness Response Plan. Item J is extension of our rental housing license expiration dates. Item K is consideration of approval of the attached rental housing license application. Item L is approval of the business license application. And item N is, M is a review of the bills in the amount of $1,234,444.87. Thank you. Can I get a motion to approve the consent agenda items, please? So moved. Second. Motion by Councilmember Mersion, second by Councilmember Nowinski. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Thank you. Next item is items for consideration, other ordinances and resolutions. Uh, first item is the second reading of ordinance number 1661, an ordinance amending the city code of 2001 relating to accessory structural height wall height, building height, and structure height within the city of Columbia Heights. And, uh, Mayor, members of the council, I, I don't have a lot more information for you. This is the ordinance that you reviewed with Community Development Director Chirpik at the last meeting um, as requested by a builder that's building a new home on Stinson. Um, this has been an issue previously. Planning Commission reviewed this, recommended unanimously to approve the ordinance as it's presented. It was acted upon and, and um, recommended for approval unanimously at the last meeting, so this is just the second reading for that. Do any of the council members have any further questions regarding this? <clears throat> we has, is there anybody that has requested comment on this? No. Okay. Then can I get a motion to waive the reading, please? Move to waive the reading of Ordinance 1661. There be an ample copies available to the public. Second. Motion by Councilmember Biskins, second by Councilmember Nowinski. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? 
Thank you. <clears throat> then a motion to approve, please. Move to approve Ordinance 1661 and Ordinance amending the City Code of 2001 relating to accessory structure and height, wall height, building height, and structure height within the City of Columbia Heights, and direct staff to send a copy of the ordinance as pres presented for publication in the legal newspaper. Second. <coughs> Motion by Councilmember Biskins, second by Councilmember Nowinski. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Moving on to item B, resolution 2020-39, extending the period of mayor declared local emergency. Um, as of Friday night at 8 p.m., I did declare an emergency for the city of Columbia Heights. Uh, it was signed and uh, approved by Sergeant Tim Knoll at the time. And uh, this is a three-day it's only valid for three days, 72 hours. So um, we are asking that the council uh, uh, approve the extension so that it can be continued. Does anybody have any questions? We have our fire chief here. If you have any comments regarding this. Madam Mayor, members of the council, just, just to uh, put some things into perspective, uh, this may sound like it was it's uh, an emergency declaration it's really something to be concerned about but honestly what it does for us in terms of a city is it allows us flexibility in making decisions it allows us areas or mechanisms of financing that uh, normally we wouldn't have it would allow it would allow myself and the uh, city manager to pursue different um, purchasing avenues without going through the <coughs> typical ways of purchase purchasing items and during an event like we're encountering right now with COVID-19 this allows us all the flexibility we need to make decisions to ensure that the citizens uh, remain as safe as possible and we can make um, decisions quickly without assembling the governing body to uh, to uh, make sure that we uh, keep the uh, uh, community safe so with that Madam Mayor I would uh, open it up for any questions the council may have. Thank you. Any council members have any questions or comments? Uh, I appreciate all the work that you've done and Chief Lenny Austin too and our city manager Kelly Bourgeois. It's been uh, amazing to see the coordination, daily conference meetings, the, the multiple uh, meetings that are our, our teleconference and uh, uh, having to watch and listen to it information is coming from everywhere and uh, I I'm amazed that you've been able to keep up with it thank you so much can I get a motion to waive the reading please move to waive the reading and resolution 2020-39 there be an ample copies available to the public second motion by councilmember Biskin second by councilmember Mersion all in favor say aye aye, aye. opposed then move to approve please Move to approve resolution 2020-39, extending the period of a mayor declared local emergency. Second. Motion by Councilmember Biskins, second by Councilmember Nowinski. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you very much. Uh, next item is the City Council and Administrative Reports. <coughs> do we have any reports from Council members? Nick, do you want to start? <clears throat> uh, not much that I've been able to get out and do recently, but I would like to say thank you to all the great city staff, uh, the public safety, the school, and all the residents of the Columbia Heights because the school has really come through and made sure that the kids were fed. Uh, they've been making sure that we all can learn at home and I know we're ready. I hope other parents are getting ready as well. And I know if you have questions or concerns, you can reach out to the district and they are more than happy to answer them. Uh, to our public safety, the fire police, thank you for everything that you're doing to keep us safe. And to the rest of the city staff and the manager, thank you for being proactive on a lot of this stuff too and getting us out there. And to the residents that are stuck at home like the rest of us, make the best of it. Stay positive. This will be over sometime. It's not going <laughs> to last forever. <laughs> so, uh, that's about it. Right. Council member Mersion. No, Nick said everything, so I'm just getting <laughs> on what he said. Thanks, Nick. Thank you. Councilman Williams? Well, just rejoice and be glad that we're alive today. 
Thank you. Councilman Biscuits. Um, I wanted to ditto what Nick said and thank everyone for doing the social distancing. The better we do it, the hopefully the shorter this whole experience will be. So thanks everyone for all our hard work with staff and, and everything that you've been doing to keep us safe. So, And then um, I attended Maddie Ziss, Zisselsberger. Uh, swearing in our new police officer so if you see her out there please say hi and I also attended the school board meeting it was a short meeting and again then that was the cutoff so I've been home doing the social distancing and staying away from as many people as I can right now not because I don't like you but because <laughs> we just have to right now so uh, hang in there everybody hope we get through this thing quickly if, if possible That's um, it. thank you um, I wanted to uh, thank our residents. They've been stepping up and coming forward. Uh, I hear stories about people delivering food to, to neighbors who can't get out and things like that and checking up on neighbors, which is very important at this time. Um, I, I did put out a letter on, well, actually Ben put it out on the web, uh, our communication person and uh, we collaborated and came up with a letter just to tell people that we are prepared and because of our staff we are prepared and um, life is changing as we look around uh, many are housebound and s or searching local grocery stores just for a carton of eggs um, it's and it can be a scary time um, Reassure your kids, give your kids a hug. Uh, like my neighbor said, they're, they're pulling out the puzzles, they're pulling out the books and just taking some time away from the news because it's only one topic and sometimes you just have to step away. Um, think about getting out. Today was such a beautiful day. We got out and we were watching the turkeys walking around in our neighborhood and and it was it was enjoyable to see that but and you can still talk to your neighbors you know get your six feet apart and keep check up on them make sure they're doing okay and especially the ones that may be housebound make sure that they are doing okay if you if you see anything um, always call 911 our our police are out there our fire department is out there ready to help if anything um, take a look at the letter that I posted on, on um, I think it's on the Facebook, it's on the web page, I believe. And um, if you have any questions, call. We are still in the office at this point. Uh, and many of us, there's some of are working from home, but uh, we are here to help as, as best we can. Thank you. Um, our city attorney is not here with us tonight. He, he, we gave him a day off, basically. <laughs> Our number in the room down to the, the 10, that's requested. Um, mayor and council, just to ditto what the mayor said, our city operations, almost all of our staff are still working. So even though our facilities are, for the most part, closed to the public uh, as precautionary measures, we are still here to help. And so calling or emailing, we, we still can do a lot of what we do on a regular basis, just electronically, or we're learning different ways to provide services that we need to provide. And we do want to um, provide all of those services. We have amazing staff. We have extremely committed and extremely flexible staff. And this, if anything, has shown us how much so. Um, they want to be here. They want to be doing what they can for the community. So we will continue to do that as long as we are able to and we'll do it as safely as we can. And if that means changing up operations to do it differently, then we are. And we're, we're doing it on the fly in a lot of uh, instances. So just know that. And if residents need anything, please, please reach out. Electronically, preferably right now. Um, but, but we are still here and we do still want to provide those services to everyone. Thank you. <clears throat> and uh, for the time being, we are not doing the public forum just to keep everyone safe. Um, hopefully we'll be back to normal soon, uh, somewhat normal at least soon. Uh, but in the meantime, I just uh, ask for a motion. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, Madam Mayor, Council. Um, in the off chance that things 
continue as they are. And in two weeks when we have our next meeting, we may do it electronically. Um, so we may have a remote meeting at that point. We will post that notice. Um, we will announce it. We will provide a t either means by telephone um, for the public to participate or we will have our public facility open for the public to come in and have our um, elected officials participating telephonically. So just a, a heads up for the public and, and for all of you that, um, again, we're, we're moving as we have to. We're hoping that we get to see everybody's face here at the meeting, uh, but there are other means in, in <clears throat> a way to get our jobs done, and that may be the case in the next couple of meetings. Thank you. Now I'm really done. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, stay safe. Um, uh, can I get a motion to adjourn, please? So moved. Second. Motion by Councilmember Mersion, second by Councilmember Nimvinsky. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We are adjourned. Thank you. That's a record day, 15 minutes. 15, 16 minutes? Yeah.